A very pleasant good day, my beloved brothers and sisters, beloved in Christ and outside the body of Christ. This is your beloved Christian brother, Eric Braxton. In this, in this video, part, part six or seven, but I think is, I more believe it's part seven, trying to recall, I just want to be accurate. But if it is part six and they are really part seven, please forgive me, but I believe it's part seven. Let us stick for on seven in this video concerning John Miller of Australia. That John Miller of Australia is not Jesus Christ. Well, this is your brother, Eric Braxton, speaking to you all from his beloved country, Trinidad and Tobago, the land of his nativity, the land of his birth, Trinidad and Tobago, this wonderful island country that is in the blue Caribbean sea. I just want to say, appealing and warning the people of Australia if I only had to be the voice this lonely voice in the wilderness crying out but I hope I'm not the only voice in the wilderness crying out I hope there are many voices in the wilderness in not only outside of Australia but in Australia is also warning the people of Australia keep the keep away from that more than the cult leader that more than the Jim Jones John Miller if I am the only voice, well, I don't want to say that right now, but I still have to say it. I will keep on blowing the trumpet and lifting up my voice as loud as, loud as possible, warning the people of Australia and men everywhere to keep away from John Miller, that more than the cult leader who claimed to be Jesus Christ when he's not. Now, John Miller, there was a journalist that interviewed him. I watched the video carefully on YouTube. The journalist asked him that if he performed, if he did turn miracles, the first miracle that the genuine Jesus Christ do, that is recorded in the Bible, where he turned water in wine, turned the water into wine in the marriage, in the marriage of Canaan, when his mother did invite him, mother is Mary, his mother Mary invited him to the wedding in Canaan, and he turned the water into wine. That is the first public miracle that Jesus did. But John Miller claiming to be that same Jesus Christ. Now, if John Miller claiming to be the same Jesus Christ 2,000 years that walk on the earth, but that Jesus Christ, which is a true Jesus Christ, turned water into wine, his first public miracle. But John Miller claiming to be that same person, but he is saying he did not turn water into wine. Now, that is a contradiction. Now, I'm using that example to show you all, brothers and sisters, even Sir John Miller did tell the reporter that he turned water into wine and that he's the Jesus Christ that lived 2,000 years ago and he did turn water into wine. John Miller is still lying because he's not Jesus Christ. I think the journalist asked him if he walk on water. Whether he say yes or no, he's still not Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters, because he's a false messiah. He's a false Christ. And if he claim that he is claiming that he is the Jesus Christ that walked 2,000 years ago, and if he claim that all the miracles that Jesus Christ did, is he, is he did it, he's still lying because he's not Jesus Christ. But I'm showing you all the contradiction that he is indulging in himself in. He take all of us for fools. Well, all of us are not fools. They are the fools and they are the wise. Read the book of Proverbs. The fools and the wise exist together, but all of us are not fools. And whether people are foolish physically, that don't mean to say they are foolish spiritually. And if people are wise spiritually, they could be foolish spiritually, physically. But then there are those who are both wise spiritually and also physically. Brothers and sisters, the different levels of development of the human of mankind every boy and girl everywhere now having said that brothers and sisters i just want to keep on appealing in all these videos in this part seven videos that john miller is a dangerous influence to the people of australia he's a more than day cult leader he's a more than day jim jones and he is talking about reincarnation well reincarnation do not exist I know you all will say 
that the major religions of the world, like Hinduism and Buddhism and Shintoism, believe in religion. Yeah, they believe in religion, in reincarnation. Buddhism, Hinduism, Shintoism. They believe in reincarnation, but that don't mean to say what they believe is true. There are true religion. There is a true religion and false religions. Having said that, brothers, that is a different topic by itself. But I just want to deal with specifically with John Miller. Reincarnation, reincarnation doesn't exist, but he claiming to be reincarnated in his 24 reincarnations. Total false. He is he believe in Hindu teachings. That's what the Bhagavad Gita teach. But the different souls reincarnate many millions of years. They re re a soul could re reincarnate thousands of years. So he is using that teaching and grafting it into Christianity with the Bible. When the Bible do not teach reincarnation, the Bible teach incarnation. And the Bible teach about the incarnation of Jesus Christ, who was a person, God in heaven, and he incarnated and came in human flesh. Born of a virgin, Mary, she did not sex. She was conceived of the power of God, and she gave birth to Christ. And Christ came on the earth as a man, but he exists as a spirit being before he came in flesh. flesh. But is the same person who incarnated as, as, a, as a child upon the earth, Jesus Christ. That's incarnation, not reincarnation. The Bible does not teach reincarnation, but he embraced reincarnation. And he is fooling his 12 disciples, Nathaniel is one, teaching them that they are the original apostles. The 12 apostles Jesus had walking with them, Peter, James, and John, Bartholomew, and Philip, and the rest, that these men that wrong him that he have when I call them 12 apostles, he's teaching, that, teaching them that they are the original apostles that the true Jesus Christ had in Jerusalem 2,000 years ago, that they are reincarnated. They are more that they are the original apostles in human form with him today in Australia. He has fooled these men and doctrinate them. Thus he has doctrinate and brainwashed that woman who he have as his wife as Mary, teaching her that she's the, um, and she have accepted wholly and blindly that she's the reincarnation and the modern day Mary Madeline. So you see how this man is fooling these people, that conatus, religious conatus, and he's fooling them and deceiving them cunningly and cleverly. But we know the role that he is playing. He's being used by the wicked one to play that role and to deceive people. But he's not telling the people that. John Miller, you all believe John Miller is doing that on his own. No, John Miller is being used by the enemy of mankind, Lucifer, Satan, to play that role, that Christ role, to play that role that he is God. He's being used to play that role. He's being influenced to play that role, brothers and sisters. This is not... This is not a makeup story I'm perpetuating and giving you on. This is facts, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. So he is a false Christ. He's and the Bible talks about many false Christ shall arise. Book 24, chapter Matthews. Read it. Many false Christ shall arise and do great signs and wonders and deceive many. He's just one. Brothers and sisters, you all better believe it. It's time you all people of Australia began buying up the Bibles. The original King James Bible and blow the dust of it and began reading the Bible what the Bible say about the many false prophets and false Christ and men who will become claiming this Jesus Christ John Miller is one of them and you all all these people that John Miller have under his influence you all have fulfilled that scriptures by following John Miller blindly you all are following a man he cannot save you all he cannot save none of you all Neither he cannot save mankind, but you all are putting all your trust and all your faith in him. He is just a man like any one of you all. And all these women, all these women, all these women who are following John Miller, I'm appealing to you all to leave John Miller and go back to all your husband. You all have married and make a commitment to your husband and have all your husband grieving wheresoever they are. And you all have left all the country and gone to join Miller, a man that you all are following blindly and have all your husband hurting. You all women of Australia that are following John Miller blindly, I want you all to do the right thing. To leave John Miller and go back to all your husband. 
wise, go back to Allah husband, man who have left the wife to go and join, join John Miller, his cult, leave John Miller and go back to your wife. He cannot save you all. He are leaving, leading you all on the road of destruction, brothers and sisters, beloved in Christ and outside the body of Christ. <clears throat> John Miller is not God. He's not the savior of this world. Well, brothers and sisters, as much I have to say about John Miller, and in this 10 minutes video, I cannot say everything that I want to say. I just want to appeal to you, the people of Australia to wake up, to wake up and smell the coffee. Wake up and smell the coffee. You all have a cult leader at hand. You all have a false messiah in the midst of you all, and he is influencing the young generation. Do you all want the young generation, the future leaders of Australia, to follow a man who claiming to be God? Well, if you all doesn't take my instruction that I'm giving you in all these videos, that is exactly what will happen. So you all better wake up, people of Australia. Wake up. Wake up and begin seeing the truth, the truth of God. Well, I've come to the end of this video, brothers and sisters of Australia and all over the world who are fortunate to see this video on the internet and the world wide web. This is your Christian brother, Eric Broxon, way down in Trinidad and Tobago. Take the message that I'm giving you all a full 100%. Do not reject it because you all be doing great injustice to all yourself for you reject this teaching message in this video. Tape and teaching tape. May the grace of God be with you and with me from this day forth and evermore. Accept Christ today as all your Lord and Savior of all our lives. So when he come again to establish his wonderful kingdom upon this earth, to bring true peace and security to mankind. That no one cannot no one cannot bring about but accept Jesus Christ. Why? Because he's the God of mankind. May the peace of God be with you and with me. All mankind every way. In no other name but the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. See you all in the next video party soon.